Well, let, let's get to that then. I mean, yeah. let, let's give me the top three issues to you, Sujin. I, I mean, you know, what, what you're looking for a candidate to address. I mean, because we all do that. I mean, you know, the old ad, axiom was, you know, you vote your wallet and you vote your pocketbook. Right, I, right. You know, I mean, so that's not just millennials. That's every generation. Right, right. But, you know, for you, what are the top two or three concerns? I think with a lot of people, you know, health care got completely destroyed and ruined this with Obama and it, it just kind of mixed things up a little bit that's something that affects mothers that's something that affects the working class anyone who's wanting to have a family that's something that's very important you to bet me. it does I, our employees <laughs> you know many of whom voted for President Obama the day we had to tell them what their insurance was going right. to cost but you know that was a shock yeah. Yeah. but also I know lots of younger people that they don't care if they have insurance oh, because they're they, not going to get sick right. yeah. back to your comment yeah. or the college students who don't think mm-hmm. about that because they're still on mom and dad's insurance well, yeah. Yeah. until they're 26 and, yeah it's fine and so that's okay how many of us have voted in a previous election who right. understand the fact that maybe i have to work simply for insurance because mm-hmm. i can't afford mm-hmm. private market insurance i got i have to get my insurance on the exchange because so i'm self-employed right. yeah it's not only is it hard to sign up for I mean, the, the coverage is horrible compared to what it was or compared to what you would have paid for that same coverage Absolutely. a couple of years ago before right. it would have So that's a real financial up. impact in people's yes. lives. Correct. What else is, matters to Sue Jen? Oh, um, <laughs> don't put any pressure on me. Um, something else that I think is important is, you know, terrorism, foreign policy, all of those things are Safety. important. Safety. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Again, being a mother, I mean... Mama Bear wants to make sure that things are going to be safe for the bear cub that she is raising up into this yeah. world. And and things and the way things that have, we have been dangerous things. for a long time, but Paris and California, you know, that brings that home. You watch right, that, and, and people have a real fear. And I, and I know you can talk about odds, and you know what, you know, you probably die in your bathtub and not, you know, by a terrorist. Right. But, but there is a sense that maybe this country hasn't been as strong as it needs to be, you know, in recent years. Kyle, the top couple of concerns to you. For me, I probably am a little bit different because mine is the economy, and then there's probably mm-hmm. a pretty big separation between the next, which I would say is health care after that. But you could probably make an argument that those two coincide mm-hmm. quite a bit. But, um, you know, the mar- the way the markets have played out kind of the beginning of this year is uh, not good, to yeah. say the least. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's the worst start through January it's ever had. So uh, being someone who works with the market daily, that's certainly a concern All right, so uh, jobs for me. Is very jobs, yeah. you know. Any you know anything that co- coincides Getting people with that? employed solves a lot of other problems. It does. It really does. Christina, I would agree. Healthcare, obviously, education. As somebody who just finished my degree and now I'm wanting to go back for my master's, where are we going to go with the expenses of secondary education? Having two children, what's it going to cost when right. my kids are in college? That's something. And then I just think energy and uh, I, everything, terrorism. All right, Caitlin. Um, I think I'm going to blanket this into economy and safety. Um, Mm -hmm. Obviously, like the education tuition as well as jobs, I mean, that's something that I'm going to be looking for in a year. Um, And then as far as safety goes, obviously foreign policy, the immigration policy, but I think the bigger one for college kids are, you know, gun rights and racism. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Let's go back to that because uh, kids on college campuses where Caitlin is, where you guys were not all that long ago, mm-hmm. uh, the protest movement is back. It's the '60s mm-hmm. all over right, again. Uh, you know, we've watched you know riots in Baltimore and Ferguson, and and you know e- even if uh, and wherever you come down on police brutality or people you know owning up to their own behavior, and you know oftentimes this starts as a crime and then ends up. You know, do you feel like an activist? I mean, is that is that part of you? Do you feel like there's anything you would actually protest yourself? Well, not no, me not personally. Yeah. No, I I think that I'm. I think that your opportunity to be a quote unquote activist is getting out and voting, educating yourself on the things that your candidates stand for, and you know, if if you want a say in the world that we're we are coming into, what is standing outside and holding a sign going to do? What is going to versus what is going to your local election polls and going to do for you? All right, speak with your actions and you know participate, Kyle. I'm really glad I was out of school when Ferguson happened because Ferguson's about 20 minutes from where I went, so I can't imagine what that would have been like had I been there. But um, I was also a criminal justice major too, so that would have probably thrust me really into the <laughs> yeah. You would forefront. have been the other guy they got on <laughs> yeah. the cable shows to yeah. talk to, right? So, um, but I mean. 
it, it's really I, I agree with what Sue Jen just said I think the best thing to do is to to, to vote I mean that that's that's if you don't vote you lose your right to complain you know there's mm-hmm. probably another word you that's that goes in with that but we can't say that so <laughs> um, but you know I, I think you just just get out there and and put forth your stance and you do that by casting a ballot and I think like she said that's much better than well I, you know I, I'm so holding hopeful, a sign I, and I know people Millennials get the their share of complaints as every generation has and and you guys definitely are different in the way you do some things